I'm not suggesting that you go around trumping your way through life. Hi everyone, it's uh, Leslie Morrison here from LM Fitness and today my video, vlog, vlog, whatever is all about how to get rid of bloating with a few really simple steps. Um, now bloating really, really, really sucks. I can sympathise with anyone who suffers with this because on occasions I look like I'm about three months pregnant and it is seriously uncomfortable. So for many people bloating can actually be like a daily nuisance. So um, and in some instances it can be really painful and very, very uncomfortable. So it is important to try and find out what's causing your blow and to try and remedy it from the inside rather than just taking like a deflatin or something like that to just ease off the symptoms temporarily. But obviously when things when we're coming towards summer, when we're coming into the, the, the period of the year where our clothes get smaller and tighter, um, the problem's exacerbated because we start to feel very self-conscious about that bigger belly that's puffed out, the discomfort. And then obviously there's the additional worry of whilst we're on holiday, we're in a different country, we're eating different types of foods, you know, there's a lot of different elements. But that next day on the, the bikini, on, you know, that next day in, on the beach in the bikini or the swimwear or whatever, it, it brings a whole new level of discomfort, it's, you know, conscious, it's like self-consciously, you start to worry about what people are thinking. Nobody gives a damn, I'll, I'll tell you that now, nobody's looking. But in here, everyone's looking and going, my God, look at that, look at the size of the belly. So it starts to add all of these new dilemmas into our own mental state. But there are a few very simple things that you can do to help alleviate the, the discomfort, the, the puffiness, uh, and feel better in a very, very short space of time. So today I am going to um, talk about that with you. Um, but it's really important, like I said, you've got to understand why you're bloated in the first place, whether it's um, a mild intolerance or reaction to a certain food, whether it's dehydration, whether it's linked to constipation, which I've done another video on, trapped wind, or, or something altogether different. It, it might not be IBS, it might be IBS, it might be something altogether completely different and separate. But whatever it is, all of these tips that I'm about to give you will help to relieve it and highlight potentially what's going on. And if they don't alleviate the symptoms and the discomfort, then it's something else. And you need to go and see someone about it because it is important that you feel comfortable. You know, we don't have to spend our lives feeling conscious of how we look and feel. So point number one, as with everything health, is hydration. So. Hydration is, the, is key to reducing and eliminating the bloating and puffiness of the stomach. So if you're dehydrated, you're going to retain water, which is going to potentially lead to puffiness. Um, but it, it also comes down to helping the body get enough, um, absorb enough minerals and have enough electrolytes and, and all a lot of other things as well. And I will put a link in the description below to a blog that I've written about this, which you can read up on on your own time. But you know, having those electrolytes and the minerals in the body it helps to balance, uh, you know, it's responsible for the balance of fluids and hydration within the body. So if you're dehydrated, you're well out of sync, your, your balance is completely off the scale and you need to get it back on the scale in order to, on the level, in order to feel better. So when you feel bloated, um, you may not really feel like putting more water in, you may feel like you've already got like a ton of it sat there. But try and drink more because that will actually start to help, you know, flow through the body um, and, and relieve those, temp those, those symptoms initially. So you can also try and get water through your vegetable intake as well. So start to, in, you know, have a, a higher percentage of vegetables rather than fruit. Um, and, and they're, you know, they're low in calories as well, so it's not going to do any damage to your calorie intake. But you're also going to get a good balance of uh, minerals, vitamins, amino acids, um, natural sugars. It, it's going to be it's going to be healthier for your body. Okay, so aim for colourable, colourable, 
colourful fruits and veggies and they're high in water so maybe things like celery, um, radishes, tomatoes, peppers, uh, leafy greens, cucumbers, things like that that are high in a water content. And these are going to um, bring up those minerals, electrolyte minerals and things like that which, you know, one of these is potassium along with sodium, calcium and magnesium. So these are going to really, really, really help the body to feel good. Okay, so hydration is key. Okay, now you want to keep your digestive system working really, really well. So also, you know, the, the hydration levels are going to aid this a lot. Fibre is then going to aid it a lot more. So it, um, in America, this is in the, in the America, it was recorded that in one year they spent $725 million on laxatives. In the UK, it was 67 million. Okay, so that's a lot of money to make yourself poo. So you want to try and not spend so much on laxatives and try and remedy the problem from inside with food and fibre and things like that. So increasing your fibre intake is very similar to dealing with constipation. So, you know, hydration and then your fibre intake. So if you've watched the video about constipation, then you'll see a trend here because they are linked, obviously. Um, so maybe try putting a bit of a slice of lemon in your water or squeezing some lemon juice into your water. That will, A, put a little bit of taste in there, but it will also help with detoxification of toxins through the body. Um, and it will help to stimulate the bowels, which obviously we want. You can also try and increase things like your... Um, your friendly gut bacteria, so this is done through things like probiotics, um, pre-fermented foods, things like sauerkraut, um, kimchi, kefir, things like that, that are going to help to, they're almost like pre-digested, they've already got the enzymes, the other work's already going on to be digesting that stuff, so it helps the body break it down easier. Um, and if you blow up really quickly after finishing a meal, say within 30 minutes of finishing a meal, you're already like, oh, puffing out, then maybe you are lacking the digestive enzymes to break down certain foods. So, you know, maybe not necessarily certain foods, but certain proteins within foods. And this is something that I've recently come to grips with with my diet, is I didn't realise it, but I was actually unable to break down casein in milk. So every time I have a coffee or something with milk in, I'd suddenly be like, Phew. and I thought that it was, some, you know, the coffee. I thought oh, I have a bad reaction to coffee, but actually it was the milk. So start to look at things like maybe keep a note of when you have something, whether it's a drink or food, and how you feel within like half an hour, 40 minutes after that food, and start to make links to the food. Start to make links to those things, and then try and remove them. So I now no longer have milk. My bloating, I haven't been bloated since, which is amazing. So it's been now, what, six weeks? And I feel awesome. It's, it's, it's brilliant. So I would highly recommend that you, you make notes and try and highlight certain things that are actually creating that discomfort. Um, you can also try and have like that glass with lemon in it before you eat as well. So then you've got acidity there ready to actually help break down the food. That's just another quick little tip. Um, the next tip is to let off some gas okay now i'm not suggesting that you go around trumping your way through life but um if you feel that you've got gas or you've got wind trapped inside don't try and hold on to it don't try and keep it in because that will make things worse same as if you feel like you need to go to the toilet don't try and wait until later because it slows everything down so if you're one of these people that will only go to the toilet at home when you finish work, so you've got to wait from like 11 in the morning till 6 p.m. 6 p.m. in the evening before you go to the toilet, you're potentially doing the damage yourself. It's not the food, it's not your hydration, it's not your digestive system, it's you, okay? So if you feel that gas building up, let it go. You know, even if you just need to not lip, nip to the loo to do it, just let it go. Try and get it out of the system because it will help to reduce that bloating from building up in the first place or relieve it if it's already started um, and you know you don't want to have those awkward moments where you resemble a trumpet 
in, in public situations. So get rid of it. Get it out of the system. Um, you can start doing things to actually avoid building up that gas in the first place. So things like chewing gum, um, talking whilst you're eating, um, breathing, uh, not breathing, eating too quickly. So if you're shoving food in your face, it could potentially be like swallowing air. And drinking things like carbonated fizzy drinks as well. So you're putting gas in. Um, so you can start to reduce those things out um, and you should hopefully see some improvements in, in things like wind and gas. Um, herbal teas are also a really good remedy to relieve bloating so and gas. Things like maybe peppermint tea or um, ginger and lemon tea is quite good. Green tea is quite good. But I will put some links to blogs in the description below to things about tea, to things about constipation and... Um, some other bits and pieces that are kind of linked to this, which will help you to to get the, get the balance of everything right. Okay, um, so yeah, going for things and also chamomile tea also as well. That's also a very good one. Um, so yeah, here we go. Gas equals tea. Um, and another thing you can try and do, which is a really really simple thing, is Try and join like a yoga or a Pilates class, like a low impact stretch movement type class. Because the twisting motions and the, the, the abdominal tensions that you use during those classes are going to help to stimulate the muscles around your bowel, around your digestive system and help food transport through. So, and it's one of the reasons, like if you've ever been to Pilates or yoga before, you might have heard someone let rip. It's not ideal, I teach Pilates, and it's not ideal when someone lets off one in the middle of a class, because, you know, you get every, you know, half the class gets a fit of giggles, the other half of the class is slightly offended. And you've got to try and keep a happy medium between a lot of them, but it also highlights that you're, you're, you know, that person is not using their core muscles effectively, but that's another matter. But, um, yeah, if you, if you have ever been to one of these classes and, and someone has dropped a good one, um, it's because their muscles are being stimulated by the movements, so that can help to um, stimulate things for you if you're feeling bloated. So you might need to excuse yourself from the class for a moment to go to the toilet or feel that after the class your things are moving around and you need to nip to the loo. Uh, what else? Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, so you, basically you want to stay well hydrated, you want to eat plants, um, so you know fruit, veg for fibre, things like that. You want to help your digestion with lemon water, probiotics, fermented foods. You can uh, avoid carbonated drinks, chewing gum, talking whilst eating, things like that, and eating too quickly, which is going to help to reduce things like your gas buildup. Try not to hold it in, so don't walk around with your bum all tight, because you don't want to get caught short. Just let go, go to the toilet, have a good trump, and then carry on, more comfortable. Um, drink peppermint, ginger or chamomile tea or green tea to help relieve bloating and relieve gas. And try participating in something like yoga or pilates. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Like I say, I will put a link in the description below to um, the blog that I wrote about this, which basically follows the same tips, um, but you can sit and digest it in your own time. And I'll also put a couple of other links to blogs that also link back to some of these things as well. So you've got loads of information to, to kind of go back on and have a look through. Uh, but in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, share if you think it's going to help other people that you know. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also, check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out whilst you're here as well. One more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.